I am back in my very echoey bedroom. I just painted this color sample on my door and I love it. I decided that I want to paint this door. If I'm going to paint this door, it means that I also have to paint all of the other doors in my hallway. The door of my toilet, but also the two little panel doors that I have in my living room. So this color, it needed to be just right. And I really think that this is it. Right now, the only thing that I want to do is I want to finish this entire door. For the last two days, I have been working on a different project. I have been building a little piece of furniture. It looks like I am building something for my living room, but I am not because the plan is to have it in here when everything is finished. It is upstairs right now because it needs to dry. So this gives me some time to shift my focus to this door over here. I am going to do some cleaning and some painting and some sanding of this door. In the meanwhile, you guys can go watch the footage of me building this piece of furniture. So we are going back in time a few days. After that, I will be back with a completely finished door and also with some more bedroom inspiration. This is me sitting behind my computer, waking up slowly in the morning, doing some editing. Behind my new computer that is, because my old one, well, let's just say that it died. A very tragic death yesterday. This is what is left of what once was the glass of my old computer screen. This is nothing in comparison to what the state of my hard drive was. This is me realizing that the little table that my computer is standing on right now is just another recipe for disaster. <sighs> I need to go build myself a little piece of furniture. A very sturdy little piece of furniture. <laughs> I never change these things out. I just always use the same one. I think it is time for a little bit of a little bit of a change. I should know how these things work. Oh, what? What? <laughs> just spent an hour or so cutting all of these boards to size but now I'm running into this issue with the corners over here it looks horrible and I also know why what I should do is I should make these edges first and afterwards then I can cut all of these boards to size in a 45 degree angle that I'm going to need so I guess we are starting over
now we have something that looks absolutely amazing. annoying drill bit it would have been so much easier just to make a little table <laughs>
Yesterday evening I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so I did some sanding, I did some filling. It actually has a bottom now. The inside of this box, well, let's just say it ain't beautiful. This is a piece of furniture that I'm building for myself. I don't care about how the inside looks. It is sturdy though. This is me being smart. What to use, what to use for the top of this thing. I have a beautiful thick piece of oak over here. I don't know if this is big enough. This piece of oak is absolutely beautiful. It is also a little bit warped. I want to paint this and it would be such a shame to paint this piece of oak. So I think, I think I'm just going to use this piece of MDF. And then of course, we need to add some hardware. I'm also considering these wheels because I do move my computer back and forwards a lot when I am editing and when I'm doing all kinds of other things. because this is not square. I left a tiny little bit of overhang on the sides and on the front because I also have to do some sanding. I'm going to use water-based paint. Fast and furious. <laughs> I can't paint with this brush. I really need to go out to buy myself some new brushes because this is such a disaster. I just need some new rollers. Some new brushes, some new all kinds of things. Ooh, paint samples. Wing Commander, is this gray or is it blue? I can't see. Mountain edge. I think I need to take this outside. Or at least to somewhere where I have some daylight. Spoiler alert, I brought a little sample of my wallpaper. <laughs> and also a little sample of the fabric that I'm going to use for my chair. It's a very, very, very dark color of blue. Right now I'm looking at all kinds of different colors from all kinds of different brands because this is ridiculously expensive. I don't think that this is the same color, but it is close though. It is going to save me so much money. Ooh, this is so difficult because I love this one. 36 euros for a can, one can. It is so close, so close. No, I can inzoom. Nou, zeg maar als u loopt. Ja, hij loopt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very interesting this. <laughs> well, my door is painted and I like it. When I was at the DIY store, I actually decided to go for the cheaper paint. This was paint of their own brand and also they had 30% off. So it was the difference between, what was it? 36 euros and 16. So I went home all happy and excited to paint my door and then this happened. I dearly, dearly hope that this is the color. 
because there are quite a number of things. Ooh, it's extremely dark. That's a good thing, actually. I was planning to buy something very dark. It doesn't look blue at all. Do we want to do a little test? To me, this just looks like a very dark gray, which is actually not a bad thing because I can mix it with some of the blue paint that I still have. I think it is going to be fine. If I'm going to mix it, I have to mix it all because I need quite a bit of this paint. And mixing exactly the same paint color twice is actually quite hard. So this is the blue. Here we go. Okay, let's see. It still looks gray. I'm going to add everything. Adding everything must give it a little bit of a blue, a blue tone, right? I don't know if you can see it, but it is definitely more blue than what it was before. How is this supposed to go? I think it is supposed to go like this. <laughs> I already showed you a tiny little piece of my wallpaper, but this is it. It's a very busy print, but I absolutely love it. I want to experiment in this space with a lot of different prints. Also, I would like to experiment with a lot of different colors. Now I am noticing that I have great difficulties <laughs> with finding myself these colors. I actually adjusted my outfit today. Let me put this away for a second. Especially to all of the colors that I am seeing in thrift stores at the moment when it comes to vintage things. I think I know why, because when you take a look at real vintage things for your home, you are looking at a period between the 20s and the 70s. In those times they had pastel colors or everything was brown and orange, or at least in the Netherlands it was. Finding those pastel colors in thrift stores apparently is extremely rare. You have to go online and it is very, very expensive. So what I am seeing in thrift stores is a little bit like how I am looking right now. I just want those little pops of color that I talked about in my last video and I'm having a lot of difficulties with finding things like this. So I am going to show you a few things and all of those things are going to be in the range of blues and warm colors like these. Just keep in mind that I am keeping an open mind when it comes to colors in the future. I really hope that I can add to all of these things. This is a chair that I already showed you a while ago. I bought this chair because of the fabric, because I absolutely love this fabric. It is very damaged. I can't keep it on this chair. So this is going to be my little upholstery project, or actually it is going to be a very big upholstery project. I never showed you underneath this chair. It is completely falling apart. So this chair, it definitely needs help. For the last few months, I have been collecting all kinds of different fabrics. Fabrics that I might use in this space for making pillows, for example. This is a fabric that I am definitely going to use. I love this fabric because it is so nice and crisp. There is another one that is very weird. <laughs> So I found this in a thrift store. On the one hand, I absolutely love this because it is so vintage. On the other hand, I think this is probably the most ugliest thing that I have ever seen. <laughs> also, there are a lot of stains in it. I need to see if I can get those stains out. First, I was thinking maybe I can use this to make a little pillow out of, but now I'm thinking maybe it would be funny 
to put this into a frame and to hang it on the wall. Maybe this could be nice in combination with all kinds of other things. I don't know. What I do like about it is that it is very Dutch. And also it is something that has a little bit of a folklore feel. And I don't know, it is different. So I guess I have to make up my mind about this. The only fabric that I found that has a little bit of a pastel color, or I actually found two, I think these are napkins, <laughs> is this. And I do think that it is cute. I can use these two together to make a little pillow. Do you want to see something that is definitely not a maybe? Something that is also not a fabric? A little van that looks like an airplane. I mean, if you love vintage, you have to love this, right? This is different, so different than anything else I have ever seen. It actually works. <laughs> it even sounds like an airplane. Oh, it's very cold. It definitely works. I love this little thing. I saw it and I had to buy it. Sometimes you see something and you think, I, I need this. I need this in my life. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so yeah, I bought myself a little airplane. It's, it's amazing. I paid way too much money for this, or maybe I didn't because <laughs> these things are very unique. But for me, it was a lot of money. I think I paid about 20 euros. It's not something that I do often. So it actually means that this is something that I really like. Anyway, my little airplane is taking off. I also found this vintage makeup. I don't know how you call this, but it's for makeup. And it looks very boring on the outside. But when you open it up, look at those colors on the inside it has all of these elastic things that you can use for storing all kinds of stuff over here the elastic it lost a little bit of its oomph <laughs> so maybe i can see if i can add some new elastic and of course it has a little mirror i do think that this is very fitting for a bedroom what else oh the fabric of my chair i have it over here Maybe you are thinking right now, wow, this is boring. <laughs> I don't think that it is going to be boring because I'm going to add all kinds of beautiful pillows. And if I want to change things in the future, I can just change out all of the pillows. I can change out all of the things that are surrounding this chair. And it is going to be very easy and very timeless. Also, this is a very high quality upholstery fabric. It is going to last me for years and years and years. And also it is very easy to clean. If I decide in the future that I want to move this chair to a different space, it is also something that is going to fit in pretty much anywhere in my home. So that's why I decided on this fabric. Do you guys want to see my other little project? I finished it yesterday. Let's see if this is any better. I think so. Even though it has wheels, it is so much more stable. And I have a little bit more space around my computer, which is also nice. Well, what do you guys think? Of course, it does move because of the wheels, but that was the whole point of it. It would have been nice to have wheels that could turn. And I do have those, but they were a little bit too big because this is actually quite a small piece of furniture. But I don't know. I'm happy with it, or at least for now I'm happy with it. I think my computer is a lot more safe. The nice thing about this piece of furniture is that I completely made it out of materials that I found for free outside in the trash. And I'm talking about everything except for the little screws that I used. The handles, the wood, the paint, it was all completely free. I don't know if you saw it, but I actually painted the handles and the wheels and all of the other hardware. I used a primer for metal first and after that I applied two coats 
of the same paint that I also used for my door. I always think it is a very nice challenge to build a piece of furniture completely out of reclaimed materials. It is a little bit different than just going to the store and buying everything new. Sometimes it is a little challenge because you have to make do with what is on hand. But this is something that I actually really like about it. I am so happy that right now this new computer is standing on a very sturdy piece of furniture. Now that I have lived with it for a day or so with this piece of furniture, I actually came to the conclusion that probably it is not the right piece of furniture for this space. I know, it's bad. I spent all of this time with building this piece of furniture and then I decided that it is probably not going to end up in this space. I do like it over there in my living room. I just don't think that it is the best fit over here. So I guess maybe in the future I'm going to build myself something else. I don't know. I need to think about how I can build myself a piece of furniture that has a little bit of a vintage look. It is going to be a challenge. When my old computer died, we brought it to a friend who is not only an amazing person, but also very smart when it comes to fixing computers. He removed the hard drive of my old computer and he got it working outside of my computer and we actually managed to get all of the very important things off. Almost everything. The computer that I have right now was something that he still had lying around. Fixing my old computer was about the same price as me just taking this one. So yeah, it was quite an expensive little accident. <laughs> Next week, I think I want to edit and upload the first part of the Toilet of Curiosities project. I am extremely lucky that I still have the footage. The Toilet of Curiosity project got a little bit bigger than what we had planned for, like usual. So there are actually going to be two parts. If you are curious and if you want to see what this Toilet of Curiosities is all about, I guess I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye for now.